Writing your aims and objectives are an integral part of a research project or a dissertation or a thesis. It helps tell the reader right at the beginning what's coming, what are you doing in this project, what's the point of it, what's the rationale, where's it going? And it also helps to gel your whole project together because when you get to the end you should be able to demonstrate yes I met those aims and objectives. But what are they? What exactly are aims and objectives? I'm going to tell you that right now. If you are new here my name is Dr Hayley Stainton and I've got loads of videos all about writing a great research project or dissertation so if you're new here make sure you subscribe. So let's start off by looking at an aim. What is a research aim? An aim sets out the intentions of the work, i.e. the overall purpose of the study. Aims are broad statements of desired outcomes, or the general intentions of the research, which basically paint a picture of your research project. They emphasise what is to be accomplished, but they don't go into the level of detail to explain exactly how you're going to accomplish that. Aims address the long-term project outcomes, i.e. they should reflect the aspirations and expectations of the research topic. Okay, so let's say I'm doing a project about the environmental impacts of aviation. I could have an aim that is to critically assess the collection and disposal of waste products by UK airlines. Okay, so we know what an aim is, but what are objectives? Once your aims have been established, the next task is to formulate the objectives for your research. Generally, a project should have no more than two or three aims, whilst it might actually have a number of objectives that are consistent with them. Objectives are subsidiary to aims. They are the steps you are going to take to answer the research question or a specific list of tasks needed to accomplish the goals of the project. Your objectives should essentially emphasise how your aims are going to be accomplished. It must be highly focused and feasible. It must address the more immediate project outcomes and it needs to make accurate use of concepts. It must be sensibly and precisely described and should be read as an individual statement to convey your intentions. Okay, so let's go back to my example of my research project about the environmental impacts of aviation. What objectives might I have for that project? Well, I could have three objectives. The first might be to critically assess waste operations by airlines based at London Heathrow Airport. The second might be to investigate volumes and types of materials arising and current disposal or recovery routes. And my third objective could be to make recommendations to improve the operational effectiveness and to maximise recovery opportunities of waste collection by airlines. So as you can see, my objectives go into a little bit more detail than my aims do, and they demonstrate more of the how I'm going to do it. Sometimes in your research project you might be assessed on your aims and objectives, other times you might not. But regardless, they're pretty important to get right because they, as I said at the beginning, they do actually give you that direction and that flow and they help to keep you on track with your project and when you're doing such a big project it is easier to go off on a tangent and obviously you don't want that. So before I finish up this video I will tell you a few tips and tricks, things to bear in mind for how to do really good or how to write really good aims and objectives. Be concise and brief. Be interrelated. The aim is what you want to achieve and the objective describes how you are going to achieve that aim. Be realistic about what you can and cannot accomplish in the duration of the project, bearing in mind other commitments that you have too. And be specific and provide you and whoever's reading your project with the indicators on how you intend to approach the literature and the theoretical issues associated with your project. Assess your chosen subjects, respondents, units, goods, services, etc. Develop a sampling frame and strategy or a rationale for their selection. Develop a strategy and design for data collection and analysis. And deal with ethical and practical problems in your research. And things to avoid doing when you're writing your aims and objectives include being 
vague, overly ambitious or too broad in scope. Being repetitive. Simply listing things that are related to your research topic without really thinking it through. Make sure you've really thought it through and it makes sense. So I recommend that you spend a reasonable amount of time actually at the beginning of your research project, at the planning stage, thinking about what your aims and objectives will be. And if you are at that planning stage, I do have a really detailed video on how to make an amazing plan. Whether you're graded or not, it's really important because that plan will help you to achieve that final product and that's where you are graded. So definitely take a look at that video next because I know it will be super helpful for you.